When I retired and we moved to Reno, I was looking for something to do. And I happened to notice an ad in the Reno Gazette Journal that the National Automobile Museum was looking for volunteers. And I thought, well, I'm a child of the 50s. We were all motorheads. That seemed like something fun to do. So I came down here and volunteered, and I've been here ever since. I had no idea uh, that the shortness of breath that I was experiencing and the chest pains had anything to do with my heart. I thought it was all my respiratory issues. I was having such a bad time that on a routine visit to my cardiologist, he examined me and said, you are going immediately to the hospital. You have congestive heart failure. I decided to go with the cardio mem procedure because I believe that it would be very beneficial for me. I want to stay out of the hospital. I also want to survive, and I believe this process will help me live longer. It helps me differentiate between an asthma attack and a heart problem. I can use the cardio mem machine to send a signal to the monitor and then call them later and ask them whether or not I'm having a cardio problem or if not, then it is my asthma that's causing the congestion. The cardio mem process does give you a certain amount of security and knowing that you're being watched constantly. As a matter of fact, Dr. Toe made somewhat of a humorous remark. He told me, I can track you when you're in Hawaii visiting your son. And if I think you've had too much sodium, I can call you up and say, Leonard, take extra water pills, you're eating too much lobster. What I do here in the museum uh, is to help clean cars and detail them and work on them with the collection manager. And it's strenuous. Without the cardio mem monitoring my system, I don't think I'd be able to do it. So it's vital to me to allow me to enjoy my passion for classic automobiles.